Bye, Polly's World. Bye, y'all. Yeah. It's done. It's a done deal. Give me an announcement. I want you guys to hear this. Yeah. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves. Yeah. I just hit a mic key for the juice. Yeah. Ain't no captain, I'ma tell the truth. I've been winning for so long, it's hard to lose. It's early in the morning. It's now 5.59. We at port. I had to come in to show you guys this. We end up into port. Babe and I are still sleeping. But I had to show it. It's so beautiful. Morning guys. Morning we at port. Babe's still sleeping. Gotta wake him up. But we at port. I think we reach, yeah. Yeah, we're not moving, honey. We reach already, you know that? Porty? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we reach already, baby. Um, morning, guys. We reach in at port. Gotta use the bathroom. Wow, they start making announcements already. What time is it? It's like, see, yeah. My mom just called. She hearing things, honey. Did they say Jacqueline or Kathleen? I didn't, it didn't it, sound familiar to me. It didn't sound like mommy's name, mm -hmm. No. She was like, are they calling me Jacqueline? I'm like, no. I heard Kathleen. Could you call 777? Guest services, I think. That's what they were saying. Yeah. Anyway, guys, so my baby and I, we are back at um, Port Canaveral. I know I ended the vlog, but oh, I guess I'm just gonna make a very short video concerning exiting the ship. <laughs> right, baby? Yeah. Yeah. It's a process. It's a process, yeah. So it's 3,000 people gotta be exiting the ship at about before 8 p.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m., right? Something like that. So before 9. Is it 9? You have to be off before 9. So between eight and nine, three thousand people. Yeah, three thousand before. Yeah, and so it's gonna be probably that short with the alarm. <laughs> That's your alarm. Yeah. Yeah. All our bags are packed, ready to go. sick in my chest again because I'm um, listen I just have to come out to show you guys we're back at port yeah it's chilly it's cold out here yeah, honey so cold it's cold baby out there it's cold yeah I'm gonna start getting dressed I'm gonna go into the shower now because I don't want to be late in line. Morning time. Give an announcement. I want you guys to hear this. Yes, that are carrying everything they have with them off of the ship. That's us. And are a part of muster station A or B. A or B. Or B. We are ready for you down in the gangway. You're gonna head all the way to the front of the ship first, taking those forward elevators instead. 
three. There you go. Well, once again, we are ready for Muster Station A and B. If you need to know what Muster Station you're a part of, you can take a look at your room key in the bottom left corner. You should see a letter group A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or H. All right? And right now, we are starting with A and B. A and B, Muster Station. We'll see you when you get down here. Bye, y'all. So, hi, good morning, guys. Good morning. My baby and I are dressed, and we are on our way exiting the aircraft <laughs> got you the cruise <laughs> the so, aircraft the aircraft you know me i'm funny i was cracking in a joke or two so i wanted to come in quickly just to close it out to show you guys the debarkation process so they came on this morning and i'm just going to sit here huzzy quickly because they're doing it in real good order i was kind of concerned what they were going to do last night so i said if i'm concerned and i would have liked to know because no one really talked about how they were going to do it on any videos so i said i'm going to come in with my huzzy and make a quick synopsis little video as you guys to what the demark d d oh i can't say that word debarkation debarkation <laughs> coming to see what the debarkation process is like so you want to say anything hey? quickly before we go before you say when you came into the um to the ship they gave you a mustard station the mustard station is what the reason why we came in is where you were get we were briefed as you guys to how to put your vest on and stuff that you needed to do and now that we are leaving they're they're we are exiting i want to say exiting the aircraft you know what they're exiting the ship with that same mustard station the letter that they gave to us when we were arriving i'm tongue-tied so i'm gonna let my husband take it from here so yeah so basically there are gonna be three groups of people there's a priority people that have priority status yeah. and of course they're always going to go first yeah. then there's those people that have their own luggage that are carrying their own luggage and they have the group of people that check their luggage right. so for those that are carrying their own luggage like us we didn't check it in we're carrying our own luggage they're going to do you by groups by your muster station so when they call your muster station that's when it is time for you to debark the ship. Yes. And they're calling like, they just call it A and B. So it's yes. about two muster stations at one time. That way you don't have three thousand to 5,000 people, people all rushing, trying to get off the ship all at one time. At the time. atrium. Because, and they also say, it came on this morning, they were saying, do not go down to level three, which is where the atrium is at. If you wish to go and get something to eat, because it's like, that's now what, 7.39. You want to get something to drink or to eat, you can go up to deck nine or you can go to deck five. And that's five is like gambling and shopping still. I don't know who wants still want to be shopping, but those are the two stations that you can go to, right? Yep. Yeah. So it sounds like it's gonna be a pretty easy process. Yeah. I don't know how many groups, you know, how many people per muster station, but yeah. I can't imagine more than like, you know, 100, 100 people at a time I think trying so. to get off the ship. Yeah, which makes sense because I was really concerned. Like, how would it, because listen, you know when an aircraft comes in, I used to work in the airlines, guys, so I keep saying aircraft. When an aircraft comes in, everyone just stands, grab their luggage from the overhead bins, and they're rushing to the door. This is not that you wait where you need to wait at, or you have choices. You can go up and get some coffee, tea, or something, wait up there, or you can wait down uh, on um, deck five. F deck five. When your mustard station is called, you take your stuff based on how you came in to the ship and exit. I wanted to just come in quickly to let you guys know that I do hope this is helpful. I will try to tape as much as I can going out so you can see how it kind of looks. But this is the synopsis of it in a nutshell. Hope you guys like this one. We do it for you guys. So if you're thinking of having a cruise, I am really truly impressed. There you go. So my mom's is calling. Hold on. I will, I will call. Hold on. Hold on. Hello, mom. Just stay in your room. Everything is fine. Just stay in the room. I'll call you right back. Okay. Yeah, so that was my mom. Yeah. She wants, she's checking in because she's concerned with what, what's going on. Yeah. So, um, anything you have to say about the service? Anything you're thinking? So, you know, I, it's been a long time since I was on a cruise. I was on one before years ago. I can't even remember. Yeah. anything about it but service was exceptional the team members exceptional these people work yeah. really hard they were really attentive to detail attentive to our needs anytime yeah. we needed something done they were there they were we quick were like, within well, minutes, minutes yeah to take care of any issues and resolve them so i had a great time i enjoyed it there was plenty of activities on the ship yeah. food was good 
it was well thought out, well planned, well organized. So if it's in your budget, if something you want to do, I would encourage you to go ahead and to go do on it. and do it. I say do it. It had a few little hiccups here and there, nothing major. See, one of the hiccups we were talking about is at nighttime, another place, because there's a pizza stand that's open. We could have had fries, you were saying? Yeah, it would have been nice if they had fries plus the pizza. Plus the pizza, yeah. that was one. Something as I was saying, I think I have some notes, but other than that, it was, I loved it. I loved it. You gotta remember to do the drink trick I told you guys, the oranges, the OJ, the OJ and the apple, bring it back and mix it so you can enjoy it with your dinner or lunch? It's lunch. 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 Yeah, so like in the morning you get up, you do that. That's a little one. Anything else you, we were talking about, something that we, you and I said, we were talking about, I was a big one. And I said, I wanted to tell them. It's not coming to me. I'm sure when I'm editing, it's going to come to me. Yeah. And I'll probably put a voiceover. But certain things, I, just a few little things here and there that they can um, touch up. Yeah. But other than that, it's really good. I hope you guys enjoy this one. As per usual, I oftentimes say, go down below, like, comment, subscribe. You got some value, go ahead and share a girl out. I mean, and I do our best to bring all of that good, meaty, juicy content so that you guys can make an informed decision as regards to how it's going to be or what you want to do. Again, you can follow me on my handles. It's on the screen. Star Pollyanna on TikTok and Instagram. And if you got some value, go ahead and share your girl out. Love you guys and see you in the next one. As the guy likes to say on the ship, bye, bye y'all. <laughs> hey guys, we are leaving. Babe and I are leaving. It's our turn. We have to go up to to wait. We need to exit the room so that they can start coming in and cleaning and stuff like that. So we are leaving out. There we go. People going up. Ah, yes, sir. Let me just know. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me just do my last little walk to make sure I got everything. Let's just make sure I got everything. All our things are out. Yeah, make sure the covers are. So there's empty. Covers are empty up top. Yeah. Covers are empty. Yep. Empty. Everything is empty, right, baby? You don't have anything in the table underneath? No, I don't think so. You want to go take a look for me? Because once you're gone, that's it. that's it. So everything is empty. See you again. See you again. Bye. Out of here. Where did you get this from? Outside? outside yeah. yeah, they're ready to come in and clean here. So, yeah. Morning. Yeah. Cleaning. You ready, darling? Let's go. Up to the elevator. Let me tell my boy bye. He go on there. They empty and they cleaning. Who's it? Oh, that's the TV. Oh. Sorry, baby.
Southern. Oh, here's some mama and them right here. Here's some mama and them all. It's a, it's a nicely oiled machine, I must say, nicely oiled machine. They made it really easy to exit as well. Cannot complain. As um, long as you just follow some of these things that they told us to do, trust me, you'll get off the aircraft really, really, really easy. Not that complicated at all. Oh, mom and your mom they come in, go back there, right over there, all in mom. So really nice how to make all of us do this at the same time. Right, yes it is. Here they come in. Yes, it is. It's a done deal. So after we got off the ship, we had about an hour or two gap in between and then we took my mom to the airport. She caught her flight back to Houston to meet up with my sister and they, it was such a lovely trip and nice having her. And a blast, huh? Again. Yeah. We sneak up in the line with mommy to take up the air. <laughs> All of that. All of us sneak up in the line. <laughs> I die to keep on dancing.